It's party time! It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back my Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and today I'm actually going to be doing my best slots in my Vegas slots a little differently than normal. So we're playing the uh, Lucky Pinata game here, and things didn't actually work out the way I initially planned. So unfortunately I had some pretty serious technical issues with this particular episode, and I'm actually going to get to the payback percentage a little quicker than normal. So, I'll go ahead and uh, roll past this whole... Uh, this whole little bit over here, then we'll get started. So the game I decided to play today was Lucky Pinata, and it's this new game that was just uh, installed. Now don't forget, I'm still gonna do the China Mystery game and the Screaming Eagles game, so those are still on the on the list too. But we went for the Lucky Pinata just because it was new and it looked fun, and I could make a Viva Pinata joke. So that's always a good thing too, all things considered. I wasn't. Uh, wasn't upset about doing that, but uh, the whole big thing that I ran into was just, I, I, I'm not sure what it was, but for some reason this doesn't uh, run very smooth on the emulator, so I actually had to try and play it on the phone, but it also didn't run very smooth on the phone. My entire playthrough got completely just wrecked. It was a real shame, so decided to go ahead and play a little bit of footage and tell you guys what the exact payback percentage is. And yes, the exact payback percentage on this game was 82.83%. So it wasn't a bad payback, but... And we did get some pretty cool little bonus games. There are these little pinatas that you can bust open over here. I really wish I would have got some footage of that. Because you can bust them open, and then they give you some extra spins, and some extra bonuses, some extra chips, and all that. And it's a pretty fun game. And of course, the... Uh, the music stereotypical uh, mariachi music, but you know it's pretty good for being a little eight bit or a little uh, sixty four bit game over here. So nothing wrong with that. Uh, also wanted to go ahead and uh, put out a little announcement about the hashtag Vegas Podcast. So not sure if you guys have been watching your uh, notifications there very frequently, but nowadays on Sundays at nine o'clock Eastern time, um, me and my buddies. So you got Comp Sky, and then you got. Chris Rocks and myself, we're all going to be doing a little podcast here on the channel, and it's going to be live stream too, live chats on. Um, and I know we did get a couple, a uh, couple of fans in the chat too, uh, in the chat too. So I know uh, Matt joined us last time. So did Tim. Uh, Despacito popped in on us too, and uh, so did Robert. And I thought that was all great. It was great that we had some interaction in the chat. We all had a lot of fun, and I think that the whole group has quite a bit of chemistry here. So I'd highly recommend that you drop on by and join us next time. So next Sunday, we're gonna go ahead and do another one. I haven't picked my topic. We're all gonna pick a different topic, probably take about 15 to 20 minutes per topic. Podcast usually lasts about an hour. We start about five minutes before for a little bit of pre-show and then we'll uh, we'll clear out and then uh, we, we, do, we do a little, po we're thinking about doing a little post-show at the end, just to proceed with things. and. Hopefully when I'm done uh, developing my website, we will be ready to add that to the website too. But that's just a, a little extra something something for us to think on. Um, also, I wanted to announce that I did do a podcast with Aces and Faces Las Vegas. They're, uh, they're a smaller YouTube channel, but they've been in the podcast game for many, many years right now. Uh, the host Chris uh, reached out to me uh, when he was talking about win slots and helped him out a little bit with that. We talked some cool Vegas stories, so I'll put that up in the description box once uh, I'll actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put his channel in the description box below so that you guys can make sure that you get subscribed to his channel and then you can catch up with that as soon as it comes out. Then, obviously, when the episode is released, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that goes up on all the social media pages and then we'll get that all squared away too, so that's a great thing. Now, just watching this game over here, it was really monotonous. I realized this is the this is the point where I just started losing so many chips. I was ripping up the loyalty points over here, but we just were not doing good chip wise, and I didn't get a single bonus. I don't think here. You know, I'm actually kind of thinking about doing all the rest of the uh, all the rest of the my Vegas slot series like this, just doing a voiceover afterwards and just doing some commentary. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if that's something that you wanted to go ahead and do. Or if you'd be interested in that, then I could talk about something that's a little more scripted. Maybe I could talk about the sale of the Cosmopolitan, which is something we talked about in the podcast. Can I put another link right there? What's up? Now I sound like PewDiePie, and I'm not gonna not gonna continue doing that. I apologize. Um, 
also uh, oh what was another fun thing we talked about we talked about Jim Murin and MGM and all their layoffs and all their purchases and all that uh, all that good stuff or not so good stuff depending on who you are uh, that uh, that was another fun thing on the podcast we, we had a lot of fun with the podcast and we can talk about some some kind of dark stuff and still enjoy it so I've been I've been thinking about the uh, the topic if you guys have any ideas uh, go ahead and shout them out in the comment section below what you want us to talk about on the podcast um, if you want us to talk about cool comps uh, we talked about our uh, favorite hotels before too on our first episode of the podcast I'll also link that one too so you'll have cards for podcasts all over the place all right so it looks like I'm uh, fixing to go ahead and wind down this game over here uh, I think I I think I've only got another, uh, oh, probably about 20 seconds at this point of footage just to go through. Yeah, this is the point where I decided to go ahead and stop and calculate the payback percentage. I had lost something like 61 million chips uh, in the initial playthrough, and I lost something like 200 million this last time, so didn't bother with it much longer. So until next time, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.